feels a little different to me. Oh, sh Here we are, Justin. I am so damn ready for this one. I don't know why. Listen, I'm not lying. This place, I, I never feel anything, but it just feels a little different to me. I'm telling you, bro. I don't know why. We it's already had an experience. I, we've been here for what, 40 minutes? And th that was like, I heard a chair moving. Like literally, it wasn't like I was behind a door. I was here, chair was right there, and I could hear it moving, but I couldn't see anything. In my event too, when you were outside doing the drones, I heard doors opening from the inside, like a little squeaking noise. Exactly. I mean, it's really, it's a, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. For you guys on camera, guess what? This entire road trip was about the Civil War. It's about it again, because this building has history tied in with the Civil War. So if we get Clark again, I don't know what to do at this point. Maybe Clark will make some friends tonight. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Clark will actually stay here. Maybe. I don't know. There is some, uh, some Gettysburg um, artifacts here, so who knows? Yeah. Maybe be like, I like this place. But, well, if you noticed, all of our other road trip videos, we had a third member. Tonight, you don't see him. You know why, if you want, if you haven't already, check out our Fairfield County Infirmary video. You gotta check that out first, because if you, I, if you keep watching this, I'm gonna spoil the video, all right? I'll give you three, two, one. All right, you better, if you haven't clicked off, that meant you already watched it. But basically, after you heard all that running upstairs, I think we had that on camera, right? Matt. Yo! What? Oh. You heard that like right above us, right? Wait. That scared me how real that was. After after he heard that running, he got so spooked out and so scared that he can't do any more paranormal stuff. Like at all. Like it might you think it's just Fairfield? He means at all. He's done paranormal. Yeah. He is like a full believer now. He doesn't have any like doubts. Like he thinks ghosts are real. And uh, you know, tonight, I mean, we've already had so many like crazy experiences on this road trip. Yeah, I'm ready to go home, but let's bang out this fire video. Yeah, like I'm ready to do, I'm ready to do one last hunt. This is where I'm, this is it for me. I'm ready, this is the hunt. Like this I can give, I now. can give 100% on this hunt and then feel like we really did something with this road trip. I already feel like we did. Tonight's just a cherry on top. That and light's on, by the way. I don't know if that was on earlier. Where? I can't see it. Oh. That, that light's on. That wasn't on when we were in there. I don't, think, I don't know if you can see oh, it. Let me on. zoom in. That light, if you can see, right there. I don't think that was on when we were doing that the tour. On. So that's now three things that have happened in under an hour. And there's supposed to be poltergeist here. Poltergeist? Like, the attic is supposed to be crazy. We're gonna review stuff as we go by floor by floor, what happened on each floor. Let's get started. It is finally time to start this investigation. We're gonna start out in the Civil War area, which I believe, is it the first? No, it's the second floor. So basically, the activity is supposed to be everywhere in this hallway. We have to go back. Back to back. Just back. I need to grab another tripod. It does that sometimes. Uh, keep the little spirit talker out. Yes. Let's introduce ourselves first after we get spirit talker out. Okay, we're gonna start off by introducing ourselves to whoever's here. My name is Justin. I'm Matt. Can you start off by telling me your name? Whoa, that's not you. That's not me because I moved it. To red? That's going up to red and it's staying steady at orange right now. That means it's probably ready to introduce itself. I don't remember the name in here. I think there is. No. Well, we didn't specify oh, that. Oh, that's yet. right. I always forget. Well, if you don't know what this device does, red means yes, green means no, uh, green means yes. Yeah. Red means no, green means yes. So, is there anybody in here who would like to communicate with us? We need no 
knows that they use a device, but it's just saying, I'm not going to tell you my name. It's possible. Not everybody uses that device the same. A lot of people use it as a proximity. Could have just accidentally made it go off. Yeah, that's true. Did you make it go off accidentally? Or do you not want to tell us your name? Green for yes, red for no. If you left the room, could you come back in? Well, if you don't know... Watched. Watched. We got watched. watched. That is weird. Well, if you don't know, we know a lot of you have connections to the Civil War, and that's kind of our channel's thing. We also have, I don't know if you can see him, or if you felt him, or however it works. We do have somebody named Clark. He fought in the Civil War, so... Do you see Clark right now? If he is here and he is trying to scare you guys, you don't have to worry. He's harmless. He's harmless. And Clark, if you're getting scared of other ghosts, you're okay. You're okay. Hold my hand, Clark. It's okay, Clark. I don't think you are. Is there by any chance that you know Clark? Scream. Scream. I think there's supposed to be screams and stuff. There's screams everywhere. Are you gonna scream? Can you do that for us? Let's ask you some questions. This is supposed to be the families of Civil War veterans who died, right? Or just Civil War veterans? I think it's families of the Civil War. Let's see if I can try to get them out. Can I think of something? Do you perhaps know the Battle of Gettysburg? Could you use the blue device on the table to let us know? Green for yes, red for no. Could you come back in the room? Remember, we're completely... Year. Year. The year is 2023. Is that a shocker to you? It's been so long. Wealthy. Wealthy. That could be, what's his name? The, the murder guy who killed his wife, supposedly. Maybe, but why is what he doing over right here? Or could it be somebody who's wealthy because of Civil War? I don't know. I have no idea. These look like really nice rooms. They're yeah, pretty nice. We still haven't gotten a name. We'd like to hear your name so we can uh, communicate with you more easier. Can you tell us that? Maybe he's asking if we're wealthy because of the equipment we got. No, we're broke. Castle. Castle. No idea. I mean, maybe they view this place as a castle. Maybe, that's true. It's pretty big. Maybe they weren't wealthy and they needed this is like a castle to them. Yeah, it's possible. Do you guys view this as your castle? Green for yes, red for no, remember, on the blue device. That day knife's not going off anymore. It's like they just walked in and walked out. Are you scared of us? So you know, there's nothing to be scared of. Can you demonstrate your power to us? She shouts. Okay. Well. She shouts. Talking about screaming, maybe we picked up an EVP on the mic. That sounds like it was coming outside, but that was a scream. That sounded like a scream. I don't know, that sounded like it was coming. That thing's. Whoa! 
EMFs going up to, to red. red. That I don't know if the camera picked it up, but that I've goosebumps. That sounded disembodied. That was I heard that very like very clearly. It, it kind of sounded like. That's where I crossed from us. Maybe it was from that building. That's what it sounded like from from across from us. Yeah. Like what? Would, who would be screaming at nine o'clock at night? It wasn't like an that wasn't an animal or anything. Children's spirits. Children's that's, spirits. We just. That's a big thing here. We just heard a scream. We it said wow. That's We've been here an hour. It said, yeah, it that wasn't a car. Screen. No, it doesn't sound, that car just went by. It sounded completely different. That I was- I up for a sec. That was, that was big. Can you, can you scream again? I mean, even if it was outside, I mean, that's such a crazy coincidence. I know, at that moment too? At that exact moment, as we're getting... No, it for real sound like a cross from us. I mean, you genuinely, know. right? Say it's all fake. What are the chances this device randomly says, she screams, there's a scream outside. I mean... Right across from us where a lot of... Genuinely... Some shit happened. What, the, what are the chances of that? It gotta be one in a trillion. If that might be me... Lowballing it. That is absurd. Could you by any chance give us the name of whoever she is? Yeah, who screamed? It's not you. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Why don't you want to talk? You give us a good reason, we'll let you- Oh, move. the big thing in this room is EVPs. Okay. That's right, right. so let's get out the EVP and see why. That's because of my camera, I think, right? I don't know if I've ever seen a camera make no. EMF No, that's all. saying steady. No, that's- Whoa. Yeah. That's in a room across the hall. steady. No, that's- Oh, wait, wait, hold up. I heard squeaking again. That might be the bat. Let me see. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it was the bat. Let's try to see. As we said, we're going to need to be. It's interesting. Because it almost sounded like it came from here. Is that a closet? I don't think we can go in there. Yeah, it's closed, so. I mean, shit, if it swings open, it swings open. Can you tell us who knows us? Who screamed? Why don't you want to talk? Why did she scream? Who's making all this noise? Okay. We just have Clark. Why is pick this picking up something right next to me? Can it's you tell us who knows us? Whoa, I just saw like a flashing light right in front of me. Hold on. Hold up, yep, I saw a flashing light like right Dude, there. Dude, Matt, there's something next to you, it's moving. Where? Look, come over here. Or there's an orb too, what the f Look, come over here. Look! Where? It's moving, up and down. Watch. What's it picking up? It was just moving up and down. Now it's staying steady, it is. But see, look. It is picking, it's like, it's on auto, it's well, it turned autofocus off and it's picking up. It only picks up like faces. Could you move? If that's you? Maybe you move. Ritual. Ritual. Ooh. The rumor is... Listen, this is all. This is what we got from the Sam and Colby video. Don't We don't know if we believe it or not. This is made by some ghost hunter guy. What's his name? Mustafa? We're not saying this is fact. Nothing like that. This is just a, just a theory. Just something he believes is that the owner, the owner did rituals here to make the place haunted and it was never actually haunted. And it said ritual on there. Is that concrete proof? Absolutely not. Don't take that as concrete proof, but it's just something to keep in mind. Well, it's actually really interesting to get your side of it because when we were researching the seminary, we came across some, like an account that you are the reason the place is haunted. So I guess one of the infamous ghost hunters, Mustafa Gadalari, believes that Adam is the reason that this place is haunted, but not just because he's 
been known to twist the history, but because he may have tried to trap a demon in the walls. Mustafa's saying this, we're gonna get down to the point of it. There are these occult sigils painted all over the seminary. Now, apparently these occult sigils were not some sense of protection, not some spell that was supposed to make these spirits at ease. It was actually to conjure up and trap a demon inside these walls. Again, we all done by Adam. They came from the Lesser Key of Solomon, which is like the Book of the Dead, so that's like witchcraft. Which is why, again, like we're saying, there's a lot of history, but it's all gotten worse since Adam's here. We're gonna get down to it. And let it be said, Adam's dope. Let's go figure out exactly what is going on oh, here. Dude, I'm nervous. Maybe they're, maybe they're trying to say the rituals never happened, or somebody else did the rituals in here, which is possible, you know. Somebody else did them, and then they're assuming he did it. You never know, so just want to keep that in mind. All right, but let's listen to photos. Scream. Why don't you want to talk? Yeah. Why did she scream? Who's making all this noise? Okay, I feel like are they being a burden to them or are they being a burden to us? Burden. Oh. Are we are we being a burden to you guys? Because you want you don't want to talk. You might start spiking. I think we need to look into a new EVP recorder. Yeah, we should have another one. We have two of them actually. Then. And we just, we used to catch stuff on that all the time, and now it's just like, especially Clark. That was like the most clear one ever. Do you have anything else to tell us? Is there anything important you want us to know? Do you have any questions? Let's put the flashlight where we saw something, think somebody's standing. Yeah, they, they moved too, which is the weird part. They moved over there and it disappeared, and it's not picking up anymore. Hey. Well, if there's anybody, if there was somebody standing right there, do you want to make that light go off? It's coming back up again. And it's saying steady, which is, we never get it saying steady like that. Turn the flashlight on if you're still with us. Do we just tap it or roll it? If you roll it off, I won't even be mad because that'd be pretty cool. That'd be funny. Not funny, but you know. One. one. Oh, there's only one. One. Okay, well, the one that's with us, could you turn that on? Turn a flashlight on if you're a relative of a Civil War veteran. Or make any device here go off. If you want us out of here, you just gotta turn the flashlight on. Unlikely. Doesn't want us to leave. But that can't or be. unlikely to turn it on. You just gotta turn the flashlight on. It's right next to those glasses. You just twist it. Or I don't you can probably just tap it. I don't really know how they do it. But if you want us out of here, twist it, pop it. Yeah, just find a way. Are you related to a Southern soldier, Confederate, Rebel? Nothing on the flashlight. Maybe that's what it's saying. Is I want to use flashlight. Is there any device you'd like to use? Let us know. Make the device go off of which one you want to use to communicate with us. Tap. Tap. They want to tap. Tap. Okay, well we can play the knocking game. So, if you want us to leave, knock once. If you want us to stay, knock twice.
Maybe he's trying to tap. Maybe it's a mangler's on the right spot. That's what they're trying to tap it. Mm -hmm. yeah, if, they're, if they're able to tap it, they should be able to turn it on. So more active at the table. You watch out and move it to the table. You have too much on the table, honestly. Yeah. I feel like we just aren't covering enough. Are you trying to tap the cat balls? The two balls on the desk? The, the coffee table? Sin of death. Sin of death. I have no idea what that means. I mean, in Catholicism, it's considered a sin to kill yourself. Do you think that's what they did? It's possible. I mean, if there, one of, if there was a lot of tragedy during the Civil War and... Maybe their husband were... passed and they just couldn't take it anymore? Yeah, maybe that's why they're, like, staying here, because they're doomed. Is that the case? You're stuck here? For a reason? Record. Record. Recording. All right, if you're gonna tell us, we do have the cameras on. I see him up. Make you go to red, please? Huh? Like, no. This is a little like, f you, I ain't doing that. Don't tell me what to do. All right, we won't tell you what to do anymore. You know, you guys want us to not tell you what to do? It's very simple to get us to do stuff that you know. If blue eyes. Do you have blue eyes? No. I don't blue eyes. I don't know. You know the southerners a lot of blue eyes. I, mean, I guess. Again. We know you. We know you. Who knows us? Is this Clark? Did you hear that? Another screen. Another screen for that building. Very clearly in my right ear. It was like a, it was more of like a distress screen this time. It wasn't like. Someone needs help. Wait. Shh. I heard that very, very clearly. I don't know if the, I don't know if the mic picked that up, but that was like very clear to me. Let me ask again, who knows us? Give us a name. We haven't got a name at all. It's like a spirit talker first. Even spike. Oh, that's Whoa, to red. red. Back down. I was, about noise. Talk, I was about to talk about the noise. It really got quiet out there. Could you make a noise? Should we try the EMF again? I mean, uh, EVP? Let's try it. Do you let us know what your routine, or your routine is? Are you Confederate? Or are you related to a Confederate? So are you the wife of a Confederate? Or a Union soldier? Were you hung? Or were you related to somebody who was hung? Alright. You let us know what your, routine, what your routine is. Sit and talk. Are you a confederate? Or are you related to a confederate? So, are you the wife of a confederate? Or a union soldier? Were you hung, or were you related to somebody who was hung? Review. We did review. Review the footage? Maybe. Review. Yeah. Maybe the footage in the hallway. Maybe. We'll review it later on. Well, the time doesn't do it now, so maybe we should do it now. Okay. Okay, Get it. Well, what goes over the window? Back there, look. Right there, it's like an orb. Oh, yeah, it's like an orb. Yeah, an orb goes through the window? Yeah, it's an orb. It's not even over the window. That is an orb. 100%. I know you just... That's on the inside. Proof. Proof. So, we definitely caught an orb. So, it washed the window. Watch, you see it? Wait. See it? Sir. So, 
so you can see it a little bit. They're, they're calling us sir. So. Yeah, let me play the actual video. I'll see. Yeah, it flies off. Does it fly back? No, I missed that. And then zoom in. Right there. It moves, but like... Zoom in on it. See, look, look, it's... Oh, look at that, it goes back. So it goes, but it goes... Listen, it's in front of the door right there, look, wait. Right there. And then it goes back. And then it goes... And that, that moved really weird. That kind of been a bottom door, right? No, because it went that that that, that window. That's just, that's pretty zoomed in. But think about it, right? Take a photo into it. So the thing is, if it was a bug, it moved in front of the window and then behind, and it left out the window. It was inside. It was inside, then it went outside, and that's not possible because that window is. That that's window's, a slight bug too. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like a. It, it's not a firefly. There's no opening in that window. That's odd. Fireflies don't stay with that one. No, they wouldn't stay right that long, right? Don't they just flash and then they, they go? Flash and like it literally stayed. It. It's you must leave. Okay. Do get that out of there. Yeah. I still you must leave. Why should we leave? You gotta give us a reason. You can't just be like, you gotta get out of here. Well, we proved the flashlight doesn't just randomly go off. Yeah, because it hasn't gone off in a long time. It hasn't not gone off in a long time. It has not gone off yet. Well, we're going to start heading out to a different room. Do you want to leave us with anything? Anything important you must tell us before I move on? I'm watching. So basically, it's going to tell us that they're going to be watching. Saying we're watching. Maybe it's something's going to be watching us. Oh, yeah, she says she actually feels people watching her when she just solos here. Or whatever she's investigating. So that could be the case. That's probably what the last message was. Yeah. Please leave. Something's going to be watching us. Whoa. Did you just flash a light? No, why? Dude, there keeps flashing lights keep pop, popping up in the corner of my eye behind me. It literally looked like I thought you just flashed the light like right here. Oh, I didn't know actually. What the hell? That's so odd. That is the second time that happened. Because when I'm in the room, I'm like, oh, why did you just flash a light behind me? That was not me. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Is this on the highest sensitivity? Yeah, it is. What was the trickster's name? I don't remember. You know the name in the comments, don't hate us too much. We took a quick tour. We've been so busy. I, I know, I'm sure I did a quick history stuff in the beginning. I'll put his name in now. I'm sure I'll, I, if I figure it out by the time I'm editing this. Are you here? If you are here, could you come over come next to me and just say your name right into here? Help us out big time knowing who you are. You've got to go. Everybody wants us to go. Every location we got that actually. Maybe, why well, we just try and, why well, all trying to tell Clark that? Maybe. I, I kind of know, we know nothing about this guy. I don't know why, but for some reason now that is, that is two times now. We've been here for less than, well, we've been here for like two hours. We've been investigating for less than two hours. I think it's the third time it said like, you gotta go, or you want, wants us out. Don't know why. By the way, we don't have to worry about anything evil here. The, the, the tour guy told us this. He believes a wholeheartedly that there's nothing evil here at all. Like it's malevolent, but there's no evil. Hmm. And it's uh, one of the rooms here she was telling about is very residual. I forgot which room it was. So, what's your thought? Oh, maybe the church doesn't get much people down here to talk to them. Well, we're down here to talk to you, Mr. Trickster. Can we get a name from you? We'll go by that name. It's so quiet, like trying to pee again. Your pieces have just been so embarrassed. Ooh. I'm buried. I'm very oh, close by. Right down there. There is a body buried here that they're trying to look for. Well, it's only rumors, but that's what they say. Maybe she is down there. 
Maybe she really, really is down. Well, also, uh, the police officer said if you tear down this entire place brick by brick, you'll at least find a bunch, a ton of bodies. So does that mean there's bodies in the walls? Probably up below us is probably what they mean. That's, um, okay, well, maybe they're, like, right underneath us. Are you buried? Where are you buried? Spirit box has been known to lead people to bodies, so I'm just gonna pull this out, listen to it. You're gonna tell me where your body is, and we're gonna find you. We're gonna follow it. I'm in my 20s. Okay. I think the girl's actually young, like that. I'm assuming we're talking about a younger girl. Xbox Gaming FM. Alright, lead me to your body. And it's Which way should I go? Straight, left, right, behind. Tell me when to stop, and I'm like right over your body. And this is like stop. So right here. Are you right here? I thought I heard there's another. I'm Amelia, what's your name? Amelia. Amelia is, am I standing over your body? They do not do it. So they're not doing it. Move the REM pod right where the body's supposed to be. Okay. Okay, so the REM pod, our spirit box is there is a body right here. What? Well, that's, like, that's the trickster's body, and that's why it stays down here. Maybe. If the body's right there, just come up to the REM pod, touch it, that'll be a real confirmation. If it's not there, come to this device. It's red and blue, or blue. No, it's not there. Or if you want to say yes, it's there, you can also do yes, all right? EMF spiking. EMF is spiking. I don't have my phone on me. So could you give us an answer? Maybe they're saying the police is right. Police are right. Were the police right? Can you come up to the uh, blue device? Give us a yes. Green means yes. That is, if I'm facing it, my left side. If you're facing me, it's your right side. But when you're facing it, it's gonna be on your left. If the police are right about where the, or if there are bodies here, just give us a sign. Terrified of us? I don't know. That's an odd statement. Found. Hey, found. I found it. Or maybe their body was found. Great Scott. Maybe I. Maybe. Or maybe I. Find the body. Either we found it, or the police already found their body. We should let the, the girl know too. If that's me, if that would be found, spirit or a body would be okay. That's still spiking. Maybe it's like like you got it. Can you please just blue device? Just give us a yes. I'll pull up. Let's try spirit box. Are we right about the bodies? Did we find the bodies? We just played the Ghostbusters sound. I mean, that's. There's no like, why would it be playing a ghost bus? Xbox, scanning. Were we right? Is this where the body is? Yeah. 
many bodies are buried here? It's not like me only. Maybe that's the trickster being like, oh, me. Is the guy who's called the trickster, are you buried here? So this is his area. Well, you know, you like to make taps. Could you, could you do that? The I heard that blah blah. This is really loud. Almost sounds like some sort of weather. Maybe. Maybe. Listen. When I was going to the bathroom earlier, I know you were doing something right over here. You do it again? Ghostly choir echoes. You guys, that's another time I got on the stream. Yeah, I mean, the spirit talk response has made a ton of sense. It has my remains. I really think there is somebody buried right beneath us. Trickster or not, I feel like I'm going with the trickster, but it might not even be the trickster. It may be seems like a joke. Who knows? You know, maybe he's just joking. Yeah, I'm buried right under here. Ha ha ha. We'll see though. Maybe there really isn't this in the trick. Maybe even ah, maybe it isn't the trickster. That's also a possibility. Mm -hmm. There's somebody else that's buried here. You never know. I think she said at least 200 bodies, but the police were saying could be in here. 200. Yeah. That is a lot of bodies. Is that right? Can you give me a yes or no? Is there over 200? Here, let's do this. If you think there's over 200, under 200. Just, I'll give you some space. What do you, personally, what's, what's your opinion? What do you think, over or under 200? Bodies. Holy! That, I was going that is never. Wow. That was a good response. That was very, very good. Over two hundred. Thank you for that. That's a really smart response, actually. That's like the smartest thing we've done. Okay. Is there more than one body here? Green for more than one. Red for one or less. Right under here, like right where we're standing. This general vicinity. What do you say, personally? If you know, we'll probably take it mostly as fact based. Whom you know? Hmm. Maybe it's their body and they just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. You don't want to talk about it? Got something. To make you sad? When it's red. Maybe that's the name. Maybe. Um, name. I have another interesting question. Of the 200 bodies that are buried here, do you think the majority of them, their spirits are still here? Or the majority of passed on to the afterlife? If there is another afterlife. Or they're just somewhere else, not here. So majority are here, majority are not here. Red or green. If they say majority are here, that means there's 
Oh, there's over a hundred spirits here. That does not mean red. It needs to go off again. We just saw you use this device. Be cool if you did it again. That spiked right before it went off last time. Hmm. No one talks. I'm guessing there's no one talk anymore. Is it too depressing or matter to talk about? I got like footsteps over there. Are you still here with us? Ten. Ten. Ten? Maybe ten stayed here? Say ten or ten? No, it was a ten. Oh, it's a ten. Ten spirits, maybe? Ten. Maybe the ten. Oh, we also got help me. Oh, when did we get help me? I didn't hear that, actually. I don't remember that. Pay attention. So, but I don't... Ten seems a little low, doesn't it? I don't know. I mean, she said this, she, there's supposed to be over 200 spirit uh, bodies. I, ten seems very low. She definitely told us about more than ten. Maybe he just knows about ten. Maybe there's just ten alone in here. Maybe there's ten here tonight. Ten that's willing to talk. Lillian. Lillian. Got what, four names, three names now? Yeah, I don't remember all the names. I think we should finish. We should go over there first, just so we're done with this floor. Okay. Well, we're gonna pack it up and move over to where people think there was a body buried. I don't know if you know what room we're talking about. You're welcome to join us. Huh? You're welcome to join us over there. But if you if you're not going to, and you have any last message, tell us now. Definitely gonna need some extra lighting in here. Listen, this place is creepy. Very well, it's creepy, but also extremely popular. So I'm assuming you know the story, but if not, I'll explain it. So is it they paranormally believed they were here, right? They got like responses. Yeah, or no, 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 the locals thought they were here. I know about it. It's um, I think there were tales and locals that there's supposed to be a body buried right in that spot. They buried, they didn't see anything, but they got anomalies that would do ground penetration and not do ground penetration, but the dog sniffed them out in that spot with the rampart. The dog thinks they're over here and they're slowly working their way from here. Under, because the bricks are original to the place. They don't want to destroy the bricks. We hear you. Did, did you hear me? No, we did not. Could you do whatever you did again? I do want to try. I'm gonna try spirit box in here. Is the body buried where the dogs say it is? Right where the REM pod is, right where I'm pointing. Marianne. Marianne is. I'm sure somebody here went by Marianne. Oh, there's a Marianne on the, I think there's a Marianne on the thing. Is, is Marianne buried here? It was very faint, but yeah. Okay. How many feet down is Marion's body? Oh, I'm picking up. It's focusing on something where the body's supposed to be laying. And it was right next to the rump pod, not Z look. Okay, well you're also, are you zoomed in on purpose? No, I don't know okay, why you are zoomed in. How many feet down is Marion's body? Nine. Nine. Nine feet? That was nine. Like very clearly nine. Nine. Well, they gotta dig deeper then. Huh. I was asking, I was asking if we gotta dig deeper. Mm -hmm. You gotta dig deeper to find you? Just stay deeper if that's the case. Edwardian. Edwardian. I don't know what that means. Um, is that a time period? Sounds like you're battling. I don't know if you're heard of any Edwardian. 
So, are they on the right track to finding you? So Marianne is here with us. Just in like the perimeter of this room, where all the flooring is, all that. How many bodies are buried? Twenty. They said twenty. 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 Is that the case? Can you make that light up green for yes? The blue device. Do this. Touch this side. If there's twenty bodies. Do that, what I just did. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah, okay, we'll stay here. I mean, it's warning as of something. I don't. What that is, I don't know. Once up. again, once again, it's in. Hmm. I wonder if I caught anything. So, can you confirm what we got, Mary Ann? is buried nine feet under the exact spot where the REM pod is. Can you tell us again how many bodies are under here? I heard 20. Thing in the middle. I think that's what it said. Don't know what's. Oh, I'm in the middle. It's weird. I, guess what they mean by I feel the like the middle is like right here. Mm. Maybe up a little. Yeah. Maybe they need to dig deeper. Well, they said nine feet. If I stood right here and dug nine feet down, would I hit a body? Yes. Deep and deep. It said yes on there too. Yep. Nine feet deep. Yes. So, there is a body nine feet right under there. Basically, it's confirmed. Well, I think we got our answers now, so we can charge back up and hit Check the next, the hit, hit another floor run after this. Whoa, this, this is comfortable. It is comfortable. So this is, what room this is? I believe it was like, uh, it was like a family waiting area, something like that. But I think this is where they claim the rituals would have been done. Listen, I'm not saying, personally, I don't believe that. I think that's a lot of BS. Basically from <laughs> what we've already experienced, it's not true, but I feel like I'd be a bad investigator not to, so. You are a bad investigator. Yeah, I am a bad investigator. So Adam, if you're watching this, the owner, I'm not accusing you of anything. If you're watching this, don't take anything that like that as fact, because I don't believe it. But you never know. You want to investigate? You know, prove stuff wrong. It's part of investigating. You know, being open-minded. Because we're investigators, we're like detectives of the paranormal. Exactly. That's new YouTube video, detectives of the paranormal. Put spirit talker on. All right. Anybody in here? Make your presence known, please. Say my name. I don't remember. I don't think there's anybody here in particular. Yeah, I don't even think this room was that haunted. I don't remember. It's just, she said, she was just showing us it was really nice. But she said this entire floor means something, especially if you get drawn to a room, go to it. Were you drawn to this room? Don't yeah. mess with me. Don't mess with me. Oh. I'm not gonna mess with you. I'm already kind of feisty. We weren't planning on messing with you. Yeah, we didn't plan on it. But we can. Is there anybody on this floor? I don't even know what to ask it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it isn't really giving us anything. Yeah, can you guys give us something to ask, maybe? Can you, can you get us, uh, let's get us like a basis or something? Yeah, give us some like the main idea of yeah. this room. Blocks. 
flux went off. And the cap just went off. Okay, well somebody just, I think they just came in. Okay, so we, you just made that go red. We usually do red means no, green means yes. So. Maybe we could go sit down in the chair over there. Maybe, but could you come back up to this? Make it go green, it's the other side. It's like this side that was green, this side red. Make it go green to show that you understand how to use it and how to communicate. I hate calling you an it, but... Yeah, give us a name. I don't know if we can go... Be more, because if we give us a name, we, we're gonna be more respectful towards you then. It allows us to uh, be more courteous. Are you frightened? Are you frightened? No. Can you make us frightened? Do you not want us to be afraid? A little quiet in this room. We're gonna, we heard a noise that way. What am I pointing at? The bookshelf. The noise in the hallway to the left. So we're gonna check out over there. So what the psychic said at Fairfield was that Justin needs to trust his instincts more basically and believe in himself. And he says he feels weird when he touches this chair. So what does that mean? Stay tuned. You know, there's a really it. evil history behind rocking chairs, bro. Yeah. That's why I don't want to touch that little Let me see if I feel it's it. It's almost like just don't touch it feeling. It's so no. It feels like a chair. Yeah, well, you're different. Okay. You don't feel anything. The medium even said, but you're hard to read. It feels like a wooden chair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's rocking. Yeah, I can definitely feel it rocking back and forth. I can feel that. Let me take a seat. Hold up. Mm, yeah, no, it's a rocking chair for sure. Yo, you know what? You kind of had a pain in my chest there. As I sat in it? Yeah. But also, that also might be the caffeine because I really focus on my chest sometimes. Well, let's try and I'm gonna pull out the spirit box and I'm just see if I can figure out. I'm gonna figure out who is in the room. All right, who's in the room with us? Clark always pops up and then Nicholas pops up on there. We'd be talking about Reggie. Clark is talking. Clark, do you remember Reggie? Seven people. Yeah. Are you the best of Clark? We thank you, Clark, actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright. Clark, do you want us to drop you off somewhere? No, that didn't sound like it was on a spirit box. No, it wasn't. It was right next to you. No, I heard it say no on there. No, it was like you. It was right next. It was not on the spirit box. Okay. Clark! Where do you want us to take you? Clark, where do you want us to drop you off? Netflix. Said something. Could have been like a town name. Like Netflix for a sec. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? We know that's his voice. That's his voice we hear on the EPP. It's Clark. Yeah, it's Clark. Clark's only here. Honestly, Clark, we love you, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, all right. Clark, who are you mainly with, me or Justin? 
Mm. Maybe they're getting all the way to Clark's state on that. <laughs> Clark, who are you mostly with? Me or Justin? Clark, are you good are you are you good or bad intentions? Clark, what state do you want us to drop you off in? Clark, what state do you want us to take you to? Clark, what's your last name? Baba. Baba. To Clark Baba? That was his voice. Clark Baba. Alright, two back up in this room. It's been pretty quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, it's mostly just been Clark. We are now in Sarah's room. Um, she has all the donations. That, I guess, is her, maybe? Doesn't really look like little girl so much, but... Sometimes she appears as an adult. Yeah, that's what she said. She might have dementia. Maybe. We'll start off again by introducing ourselves. My name is Justin. I'm Matt, and is Sarah here with us? Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, sh Hey, Sarah. Is Sarah here with us? Could you make your presence known? Could you say one of our names? I'm just quiet. Maybe some of us move up because I swear I heard Attic on that thing too. What's upstairs? Any anything you want to say to us? Any message you want to share? Oh, investigate. Don't go. Investigate. Don't go. That was really really clear. Okay. Don't go up. Stairs, don't go. Or just don't go out. Okay. Investigate. Don't go. Because we're talking about leaving. They still want us to stay here and investigate. We're we'll staying here and investigate. Why do you want us to stay here to investigate? If you want us to stay, you're gonna need to make some of our devices go off. Could you make the REM pod go off? It's the red device. Red light antenna sticking out of it. You gotta touch it. That'll really help us confirm that we should stay here and investigate. Gotta give us something here if he wants to stay. What is what is the girl in this room's name? Her name is... They didn't catch that. Could you say it again? Her, what's her name? The devil, the devil is here. Oh, that's creepy for this room. I don't think... I don't yeah, think that, well, first off, if she wouldn't say, the devil is here. I, I think they just I think they just consider one of the spirits the devil because of how annoying or angry they are. Got anything to say to us? Say it now. Let's move up now. No, we're gonna move up guys. Yeah, I think. Wow. We're gonna try it here. Can you hold the light? Jonathan? Not coming in. Not come in. I just want to see if you give us permission. Listen, I understand. I'm a quiet guy myself, so can I come in? If he closes it, we don't go in. If he closes it, we. <laughs> so is that welcoming, Jonathan? Guess that means he wants us to. Go in later. We won't start out there. If you don't know the story of up here, it's pretty much what this was the insane asylum. 
-hmm. pretty much. And the recreation. And recreation. This is one of the hot spots. I mean, this is what she told us to wait for. This is the last spot of the night. Okay. Is there anybody up here? Hey, spare time. I think we need to make this. This is the end of the road trip for us. It was awesome. Honestly, one of the best experiences of my life. You know, all the places we went to, all the awesome tour guides we had when they showed up. It was so much fun. Um, this is like, this is the big conclusion. It was a hell of a journey. I mean, I'm sure even when I'm editing this, this is gonna, we're gonna be so much different. Let's investigate in Ohio one last time this year. Who's up here with us? Could you make a noise? Can you repeat after me? Listen, to every spirit up here, this is, this is the end of the road for us. This is our last hunt, our last investigation for a little bit. If you want to take energy from us, any of our devices, feel free. We don't need it anymore. This is it. You can either do us a favor and help us create something special here, or you can not. I mean, I really would hope you, you would. So, could you make a device go off? Green on that device means yes. Red on it means no. Blue device. You see this camera right here? Take battery from it. It's all yours. Oh, well, we talked about energy a lot. That's true. Where's your phone out? 21. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. It was on full battery. Oh, no way. It was on full battery. Yep, it was. I just put it in. That's crazy. No way. Change or charge battery. Can you even turn it back on? It did. It took the energy. That's crazy. It literally did. So what are you going to do with the energy? Can you finish these knocks for me? Just knock twice. Maybe whatever it was gonna do, it did while we were gone. Maybe it took the energy and did it while we were downstairs. I mean, who knows what we we'll caught. Look out. But we, yeah, but the camera's rolling up here too. I had mine rolling. Yeah, so we'll see what happened on the cameras. Whoa. You, wait, was that the door? Let's check. That might have been the door. Take it, dude, that was, I had full body chills, holy shit. I think that was the door. That's so sound. Do not tell me that door is closed. Let's check. I don't think All it is. All the doors were open, so I don't know which one. No, closed. it's not. Let's see if there's a closed door. Let's go down. Shit. No? I mean, that was, I heard, we both heard that very, very clearly. That was clearly. a crash. We heard that very clearly. Maybe something in the doctor's office fell? Wait, what about this? Oh no, that wasn't open. No, it wasn't that. Wait, what's that? Is that on the floor? I don't know. Right? Let's check. I mean, oh. it might have been that. I mean, I that would have been louder. Well, ask her if it was up. Maybe it was sitting downstairs. That sounded like over here. It did, but who knows? Did you make something fall?
What was that? A crash. Crash. We just heard that. We just heard it. You said crash out loud too. That's what you said. You said exactly that. Could you do it again? There's poltergeist activity up here. There's everything up here. I, mean, I am feeling weird. I know. I feel mm -hmm. hot. Yeah, I did just get like a heat wave. I'm sorry to get that migraine too again. There it was again. I heard an added here. It was an added crash from sound. Okay. Well, I definitely picked it up on it. It definitely head. wasn't as loud. There it was again, I told you. I don't hear it. I hear it. I don't hear it at all. Let's go check again. Just be safe. Looks like here we go. We both would have heard it if it was. I heard it. No, you probably hear that. You most definitely hear on the camera. I don't know. Maybe some of the toys fell over? Alright, let's see these last two ones. Yeah, slightly. I'm going night vision. See if I can see anything. Alright, give you one last chance. You can say one last thing to us. Say while we pack up? No, let's just wait for him to say the last thing and then we'll pack up. What is your last? What is your last statement to us? People who may not be back here for a long time. Giving you one last thing and that's it. This is your chance to speak it to the world. And to us. Ho ho ho! I said ho ho ho. Ho ho ho? Maybe that's what they wanted to leave us at. We did it. Justin. We did it. I mean, how, it, come on, that's gotta bring back a little energy. Oh, only a little bit. I mean, it's, it's gotta make you feel a little bit better. It's over, we did it. I'm we, happy to be done so <laughs> We did it. This is the end of our road trip series. I'm assuming you guys are seeing this in November, but genuinely, from both of us. We never would have done this if it wasn't for any of you. We don't have, you know, we obviously we don't have this huge, absurd fan base, but the people who do watch our videos and come back every couple of weeks to watch us, bottom of my heart, we really do appreciate it. You guys have changed our lives. This road trip has been one of the craziest things I've ever done in my life. And it's just the beginning. This isn't like, oh, it's over. This is what, this is the big climactic. This is what our channel was built for. It's not, this is what was supposed to start us. This is what starts us on our YouTube journey. Paranormal journey is finally over. We're gonna go get some rest. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all so much for tuning into the Haunted Archives Season 2 Madison Seminary.